name's Sherry, and I'm a recovering alcoholic. Uh, my journey to Aurora was a long one. It took years to get myself to come to the point where I could admit that I needed help in my addiction, and I couldn't do it on my own. I tried many times to do it on my own, only to fall even deeper into a hole. And it came to the point where I was quite ill, having seizures, uh, just crumbling apart inside and out. And I was hospitalized uh, for a while. And I spoke to an RCMP officer at the hospital and she gave me the number for Aurora. And I'd never heard of Aurora until I talked to this lady. Thank goodness. <laughs> and she said that, you know, if I didn't get help professionally with all the right people, that it was either get help or say bye to my life, say bye to my family, say bye to everything I had done and everything I had destroyed. So, uh, I got out of the hospital and I phoned the number she gave me, which was Aurora, and within 12 hours of leaving the hospital, I was at the doorsteps of Aurora. I came here and the door closed behind me and this, the help started. So from, from there, I went into the detox in Aurora. It was rough, and but with the help of doctors and nurses and staff and other people, I made it through and I was safe. So I ended up being brought down to my room and beautiful room, big comfy bed, comfy pillows. Uh, I could look out the window and see the lake and the sunrise and the sunset. and. This is where I started to go to group sessions and in group sessions I learned all about my addiction and about myself and my denial towards my addiction. I learned to trust myself, love myself, find out who I was and where, where my addiction stemmed from. It took time, a lot of time. A lot of soul searching and a lot of listening and listening to other people's stories and realizing that, hey, I wasn't the only, I wasn't the only one out there. You have a lot of backing at Aurora that I wasn't expecting, but it's there. Um, seeing a therapist, which I never thought I would ever talk to a therapist and bring up anything of myself, but I did, and it was helpful, and going to one-on-one -on -one counseling several times a week, was, that helped. That made me break down and cry, and I didn't think that I could cry. I just didn't think I had it in me to have any emotion, but taking a drink and drowning, pouring alcohol over my emotions instead of dealing with them and realizing, you got a problem, girl, like you need you need help and you can't do it on your own. These people are here to help you. Together with the one-on-one -on -one and the therapist and being on the proper medication to come off my addiction healthy made a difference. And walking outside, walking on the beach, talking to other people, being on it, they put you on an awesome diet. Not a diet where you lose weight, but you're eating breakfast, lunch, and supper, and snacks, and it's all health conscious, and fresh vegetables, fresh salad, fresh assortment of fruit every morning, and just things that heal you inside while you're taking the time to heal on the outside. I never thought I'd find my happiness again, but over time, with learning with about me, um, I found happiness. And I didn't think I was going to get it, and I heard people talking about it in Aurora, and I didn't think I was going to get it. And then one day, I woke up in the morning, it was a beautiful sunrise, and I had this warmth, like a weight was lifted off my shoulder, and 
you know, I felt all warm and I could smile. I was happy. As the day continued on, I was laughing, I was smiling, I was thinking positive, and I had more inner strength to carry on. It was empowering. In Aurora, you go to AA every night, and it becomes part of your life. And you learn to share with other people, you learn to talk about your addiction, you learn learn from other people talking about their addictions and with an open mind and an open soul and surrender, surrendering yourself to the fact that hey I'm an alcoholic I need I need this this is part of what's going on with me now and maybe for the rest of my life but you just you actually I actually not you but I actually became to the point where I looked forward to go to AA like I knew the meeting was at this time and you know I had things in my head that I wanted to say and it was it's still part of my life it's part of the journey I would recommend Aurora to anyone who has an addiction who had who thinks that possibly they can't go on that they don't care if they're gonna live anymore because addiction has taken over their life so heavily that they can't fight their way through it. So yes, I would recommend Aurora to anyone who's willing to accept help. And even if you're not willing to accept help and you come to Aurora, it's going to sneak up on you and you're going to get that feeling. You're going to find yourself, whether you like it or not, it'll come back. <laughs> if it wasn't for Aurora, I wouldn't be sitting here happy, smiling, um, just full of finding myself again and seeing the world differently in an awesome way. I wouldn't have this warmth inside me that I found at Aurora and it keep, has grown and grown since then. And now I'm ready to take on the world. I'm taking on the world because I found my inner strength, my power, and my happiness, and take me as I am, here I come. <laughs>